hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so now i am going to solve question number two of weekly contest 471 longest balanced substring one so let's read the problem statement you are given a string s consisting of lowercase english letters right from small a to z a substring of s is called balanced if all the distinct characters in the substring appear the same number of times right so we have to calculate the frequency and then we have to check if all the distinct characters in a substring appear the same number of times we have to turn the length of the longest balanced substring of s and what is substring a substring is a contiguous non-empty sequence of characters within a string right so let's see the examples example number one s is equal to a b b a c right so here Tell me what is the frequency of A in this complete string. So A frequency is 2, B frequency is 2 and C frequency is 1, right. Now if you just see this particular substring, that is nothing but A, B, B, A, right. So in this substring, A is appearing 2 times, B is also appearing 2 times, C is, B is also appearing 2 times and A is appearing 2 times, right. Right. So what is the length of this? Length of this is 4. Right, so this is our output. The longest balanced substring is A B B A because both the distinct characters in this substring, distinct characters are A and B. Both the distinct characters A and B each appear exactly two times. Right, so that is why this is a valid longest balance, balanced substring. Right, so this is our output. Clear. Now see this example number two. So here, if you see Z is appearing. Uh, two times a is appearing one time b is appearing one time c is appearing two times and y is appearing one time right so here in this case you can't choose a substring like this z z and then c c this is not valid because substring is nothing but a contiguous contiguous non-empty sequence right so this is not valid right okay so in this case if you just pick this z a b c right so if you pick this z a b c so in this the frequency of all the distinct characters in this particular substring is one right so the output is going to be four the longest balanced substring is z a b c because the distinct characters z a b and c each appear exactly one time right so this is valid so that is why output is four so we have to run the length of the longest right clear now see this example number 3, S is equal to A, B, A. A is appearing two times, B is appearing just one time. So I can pick this A, B, right? So frequency of A and B is 1, or I can just pick this B, A, right? Both are valid. But the length is going to be 2. We need to return the longest. So one of the longest balanced substring is A, B, because both distinct characters A and B each appear exactly one time. Another longest balanced substring is B, A, right? And now if you see the constraints, constraint size is very small s dot length from 1 to 1000 and s consists of lowercase english letters only right so what we need to do then okay lowercase english letters means a b c until z right so a i will say that uh, zero if i just give the indexing two right and so on here it is nothing but 25 so we have total 26 characters right uh, English alphabet series right a to z so I will just create one uh, frequency array right of length 26 and I will just calculate the frequency of all the lowercase English letters right so this is the first thing that I need to do right so once I do this then I will just run a loop right first I will I will apply the brute force right constant size is very small so this is just nothing but the first part of this problem longest balance substring part one so that is why you are seeing the constant size very small. So we can solve this problem using brute force. So what I'm going to do here, this is my string A, B, B, A, C. Right, so first I'm going to pick my I here. And then after that, I'm going to run my J loop, right? So let's say uh, initially, let's say my J loop is here, right? So A frequency is one as of now, right? So A frequency is one. So in my alphabet series right a to z so 
I will just iterate over all the frequencies like A frequency, B frequency, C frequency. So I will find out that max frequency as of now is 1 and min frequency is also 1, right? A to Z you have alphabet series, right? A, B, C, D, E, F until Z. So if you just add this element, right? So A frequency is 1, rest all are 0, right? So in this array of 26 length, what is the minimum value you see? minimum value you see is 1 right i am ignoring the zeros i am ignoring the zeros i am ignoring the zeros right i am finding the min value and i am finding the max value but condition is that particular character should be there in my substring right so if it is zero now then there is no need to take there is no need to consider so minimum is 1 because a is appearing one time max is 1 because a is appearing one time so this is one valid substring right this is one valid substring so this one is having length one right as of now length one okay now let's say my j is moving forward my j reaches here right so now a frequencies a and b i'm taking this part a and b so here this is going to become one right so here also if you see the max frequency which is not zero the max frequency is one and mean frequency which is not zero is also one right a is appearing one time b is appearing one time right that's it you don't need to consider zero ones okay i'm ignoring this so max other than zero is one mean other than zero is one so both are same so this is also valid because my mean and max both are matching my mean value is equal to my max value right so this is valid now after that my j is going to move forward so right now the length is 2 a b this is also valid right max is 2 as of now now i'm going to see this part my i is here only in the start my j is here right so now if you see a b b so now a is one time b is two times so now if you see mean value mean value is one and max value is two right because b is occurring two times mean is one so I'm only considering that mean where 0 is not there, right? So it is clear, right? So mean is 1 and max is 2. So mean and max both are not matching. So if mean and max both are not matching, that simply means that this is not a valid longest balance substring because frequency differs, right? Now after that, let's say my j is moving here. My j moves here. Now in this part, I have to check. So now a, b, b, a. So now here a frequency is also 2. So now a frequency is 2, b frequency is 2. So what is the length? length of this one uh, length of this one uh, here if first you calculate mean and max so mean is 2 max is also 2 both are matching so both are matching that simply means that this a b b a is a longest balance substring because minimum frequency is 2 in this particular substring and max frequency of the distinct character is also 2 so mean and max both are matching that simply means that this is the longest value substring okay now length it's very easy you can easily calculate right so here uh, i is here 0 index 1 2 3 4 j is at 3 index i is at 0 index so you can do j minus i plus 1 j is 3 i 0 plus 1 so you are going to get length 4 right so j minus i plus 1 so that is why i am running two loops right and now i can easily get the length so 4 is the length as of now valid then after that my j is moving here then in that case c frequency is going to become 1 so c is 1 so now c max is 2 min is 1 right max is 2 min is 1 max is not equal to min that's the premise a b b a c is not a very longest substring. that's it now next time i'm going to start my i from here and j from here like this i have to do so i'm running both i and j loops right so definitely the time complexity is going to be of n square because of this right so in this way you can try to solve this problem again you have to create a new frequency array when you are going to start i from here okay so that's what we need to do so a b b a c so first i here j here j here j here j here j here the next time once this is completed then your i is going to start from here j is going to start from here again new frequency array you have to calculate side by side and if the max frequency is if we come equal to the main frequency then you have to check the longest only the longest like this so this, once this is done then your i is going to start from here then j here j here, j here like this okay so now i am moving to the code part right so let's see code all right so first calculate in the length 
then max length 0 then I am running one loop then here I am creating one frequency array to store the frequencies right so int count new frequency array then j I am starting from i j is less than n j plus plus then I am just going to count the frequency of that particular element so once I count the frequency of that particular element then mean I am taking the max value and max I am taking 0 right so now I am just going to iterate over all the characters in my alphabet series a to z and only if the C value is greater than 0 then I am going to operate the min and max okay so once I do this then after that I am checking if min is equal to max that simply means all known 0 counts equal right mean frequency is also same max frequency is also same that simply means it is the longest balanced substring so in that case I am going to operate the max length right like this so here I am running this for loops for this particular i then next time i moving forward again new frequency array, then again j loop starting from that particular i value and again i am running everything so here i is running n time j is running n time and here i am just going to iterate over the my frequency array of length 26 so the time complexity is going to be of n into n into 26 of 26 n square right and 26 is you can also ignore right n is also very small so you will be able to pass this uh, solution right and in the end you have to return the max length that's it very simple problem okay right so i hope that you guys are clear with question number two of weekly contest 471 if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep going and keep practicing with you in the next video thank you bye bye